ion pairing is a phenomenon occurring in a solution when oppositely charged ions are attracted and act as a single particle. This is going to cause our I value to differ from the expected since some of the particles are going to go together making it less than what we had expected. So in this problem we are given an observed osmotic pressure is 10.8. So since we're talking about osmotic pressure we need our equation. Pi equals IMRT. We know osmotic pressure is 10.8. I, our I, um, we need to figure out our expected. So we need to write our dissociation equation. So try to figure out what you think that breaks up into. We have one iron, two ammoniums, and two sulfates. So the expected I would be 1 plus 2 plus 2, 5. But we're not going to put that in the equation since we want to know the experimental value for I. So expected was 5. We're looking for I. Molarity was given. Point zero or point one. R is point zero eight two one. It's constant. And temperature, remember, needs to be in Kelvin, so that's two ninety eight. So solving that out, we get an I of four point four two. So again, this is less than what we expected because some of those iron, ammonium, and sulfates aren't going to break up. Some of them are going to stick together. So I should be less than expected. Okay, and make sure you always know that that's due to ion pairing. A suspension is a mixture from which some of the particles settle out upon standing. So like mud or sandy water, if you stir it, all the particles stay suspended but then eventually, if you come back a couple days later, all the particles are at the bottom again. The Tyndall effect is what you can use to distinguish between a suspension and a true solution. A true solution will have light go straight through the beaker or cuvette, whatever you're using. So light goes straight through. That would be the uh, container on the right while a suspension is going to scatter the light because the light's going to hit those particles that are suspended in solution and get scattered so you can see the path that the light is going through. So you make sure that you know what the Tyndall effect is. It's used to distinguish suspensions and solutions. And if you were given a picture, be able to tell that that one on the left is the Tyndall effect and that would be a suspension, while the one on the right is a true solution. If I come back, the one on the left would have particles at the bottom. A colloid is a type of suspension that does not separate upon standing. So we have whipped cream, milk, paint, marshmallows. Like marshmallow, you have the air suspended throughout the sugar mixture. We can break down a colloid through coagulation, which is the destruction of a colloid. We can carry that out by adding heat or adding an electrolyte. Most often by heating it. If you heat up whipped cream, it turns to mush. Uh, electrolyte like salt. And that is the end of this podcast.